to God. Exodus 22, chapter, verse number 18, and read, and glory to God, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 1, O foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you, that you should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ have ever the crucified, set among you, crucified among you. So ten reasons how, glory to God, ten reasons why witches are so popular in our world. Because the Bible say, I suffer not a witch to live. And Galatian church, Paul say, oh foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you, who have charmed you, who have bamboozled you, who have tricked you, that you should not obey the truth before who I, Jesus Christ, have ever set forth, crucified among you. So ten reasons why witches are so popular in our world. Yes, they are popular, my friend, because anytime the YouTube channel is crowded with witches and they get more subscribers and more view because everybody want to be a witch. Hey, glory to God. So 10 reasons why witches are so popular in our world. The number one reason is they control our churches, hallelujah, with witchcraft and the pastor are so weak and money hungry. That's number one. Now, this is 10 C's. Number two, they care about the money system, the prosperity preachers loving it. Hallelujah. Number three, they are in our camera, especially on YouTube. Hey, glory to God. Number four, they love our children with Harry Potter books and movies. Hey, number five, they create a scene saying, I am preaching hate. And not love. But I'm preaching love because I'm, I am concerned about your soul after you dead. Yes, I'm concerned about your soul after you are dead. So while you're living, I'm trying to preach the hell out of you. Hey, glory to God. So they create a scene saying I'm preaching hate and not love. Number six reason, they are cancer in our society, sickness to manifest through herbal medicine healing. They come with the herbal medicine, but I come with the gospel. Yes, they come with the herbal medicine, but I come with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Number seven reason, they are the charmers in our world. As Galatian church, the third chapter, hallelujah, say, glory to God, they are, glory to profess to be preachers, they profess to be healers, they profess to be cookers, my friend. But be careful, because these people are dangerous, they come with manipulation, hallelujah, suggestion, and they come with charmness. Hey, glory to God, hallelujah. Number, number eight, they are the counterfeit gospel. What? They are the counterfeit gospel that preach in our church. They are the counterfeit. They are not real. They're pretending to be real, but when you cut them open, they're like dead man bone full of worm, like an apple that look red. When they cut it open, they're white worms. Hey, glory to God. Number nine reason. They are the crook, the cookers in our churches. They're killing us slowly, but surely. And I hope you are a Christian to know that these people are dangerous. Yes, they are the cookers in our churches, killing us slowly but surely. I hope you are a Christian that to know how dangerous a witch is. Hallelujah. What I'm preaching about, 10 reasons why witches are so popular in our world and the tenth reason and I'm gone they are they chant and cure and curse people in the community and in our churches what they do they chant to demons they chant from the the, the, the book of shadows and they cure with herbal medicine and they curse with exing people in our community and in our churches. I'm talking about the witches. I'm talking about the wizard. 
I'm talking about the sorcerer. I'm talking about a medium. I'm talking about necromancy, talking to the dead. I'm talking about the witches that you listen to on Sunday morning, preaching not the word, but preaching, glory to God, hallelujah, omens, preaching about the future, preaching not revelation, but preaching from the book of shadows. I'm talking about why witches are so popular in our world. Don't let your children read no Harry Potter book. Don't let your children watch Cartoon Network. Don't let your children watch Marvel, Walt Disney, because those channels are channeling your child to be a witch and wizard and weirdos. I'm talking about why witches are so popular in our world. Look at our churchill system. It's all about the sensational. It's all about secularism. And it's all about self. And it's all about Satan. It's not about salvation. Salvation is to, is to come to Jesus and get saved for your sins. Don't live in your sin, but be saved from your sin. Look at our churches. It's all about the money. It's not about the master of your soul. Look at our churches. It's all about the hoax and not about the high priest, which is Jesus Christ. Look at our churches. It's about a concert rather than being, being care if you want to go to heaven and miss hell. Look at our churches. It's all about the fashion and not about our Holy Father, which art in heaven. Look at our churches. It's all about technology. Nobody bring the Bible. It's all about your cell phone and reading from your cell phone. You shouldn't silence your cell phone. You should turn it off while being in the house of God. Nobody pay attention to the word of God anymore. The Bible say, glory to God, that how the word of God, enchanting word to save your soul. It's not about, it's not about coming in the presence of God anymore. It's about who going to be there. Is my friend going to be there? Is my man going to be there? Is my girl going to be there? Are they going to have food, glory to God, on, in, the, in the sanctuary after I leave? The Bible say, look unto Jesus, the author. And a finisher of your faith. For the joy that was set before him endured the cross. And is set right at the right hand of God. God, Jesus Christ, is the main course for church. Jesus Christ is the main course. The main purpose. The main plan. The main presence is Jesus Christ. And if Jesus Christ is not the purpose the plan, hallelujah, and the praises you in a church that's full of witches. If God is not glorified, if God is not being good, if God is not being preached, you in a church that's full of witches. I'm telling you, my friend, 10 reasons why witches are so popular in our church. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? Does your pastor preach the undulterated gospel of Jesus Christ? Does your church preach heaven and hell? Does your preach, your pastor preach about the Holy Ghost presence? Hey, glory to God, because the Bible say, if you have not the Spirit of God, you are none of His. So does your church preach about the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Does your church preaches about St. John the 316? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Does your church preach about John 3, hallelujah, 14? As Moses lived a serpent in the wilderness, even so shall the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Does your church preach about John chapter 10, verse 10, that the thief come to, to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. 
does your church preach about Acts 2.38? Repent and be baptized. Every one of you, glory to God, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Does your church preach on Mark 16, verse 16? That he that believeth and baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Does your church preach about you must be born again? Does your church preach, reach, teach, and you surrender to the will and purpose of God in your life? My friend. If your church does not preach these principles, you in a church full of witches. And it's time for you to get out and be in a church where the presence of God is preached, reached, and foretell. My friend, 10 reasons why witches are so popular in our world.